Hi, I'm Joss Granger and this is my mum Gwen and we've recently completed our renovation with Quinlan Quality Homes. We have a whānau page on Facebook and my nephew, Ra, who lives in Topol, put it, Rick's profile up on our page and I think he had a comment on there, you know, whānau in Auckland if you're ever looking to, yeah, to get work done, get work. So we did. It was very easy, yeah. very easy to, he actually came a couple of times and just sat with us and had coffee and I mean, you know then, through that conversation that, yeah, this is the guy we want. Yeah, he just took, he really took his time to get to know us and he really understood what it was that we were trying to create, you know, with the two homes under one roof type thing and so it made us really comfortable mm. eh, that we were working with somebody who understood the fundamentals of why we were doing what we were doing and it wasn't just about making the house pretty. There were some functional elements to it. It was about intergenerational living. It was about being able to make a home for our kids um, and our farm guide kids that we'd taken on at the time. So, and he just got it. He understood it, which was really important to us that someone yeah. understood our yeah. values. I think it was surprisingly pleasant you know, when we hey, weren't like, like yeah. you know, there was no, it was so easy to get on with everybody. Um, yeah, I don't know. Nothing was intrusive. Yeah, we probably couldn't get over how quickly things came. It was going to happen. Yeah. Um, and that they, and I just put that down to the guys and sort of their planning and management and just how hard the boys worked mm. as well. Eh? They, they were on site to do a job, um, they didn't muck around. I think what it was is that he felt confident in his team to see the vision as well and I was confident that he was able to just go right da 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 and they'd get it done. You know it wasn't like God I have to go back there again, God I have to go and sort this out. He'd just say it once and I'd relay it to him and he'd get it sorted. It's kept us connected um, which was really important part for us is that we wanted um, to still be connected and living together as a whānau, but then we are also able to be independent of that when we want and, and need to be, um, and still have the sections that we can sort of close off when we want to, um, but also open it up, um, which is the majority of the time. Um, but I just think it's been, you know, living together, still having that independence and mm. stuff as well, but being able to raise, you know, our kids um, has been, it's been huge to have all of this fall into place for that. Do it! Yeah, just go for it. <laughs> we probably, we procrastinated for a long time, eh? probably over a year. It genuinely was ripped that, sort of ripped that band-aid off for us because he just made us feel so comfortable and so confident eh, in the decisions that yeah. we were making with it that it was just kind of a no-brainer. You know, he put in a lot of effort, and I think he'd come back about three times to go through stuff with us, that, you know, emails, phone calls, and then that third time he came for a coffee, he said, right, we'll be here on Monday. <laughs> no, no. Ah, yeah, okay. But that's kind of what we needed a little bit as well. We just needed somebody that we, and we just trusted him. We trusted him so much that it was like, oh shit, but it wasn't as well. It was just like, yeah, cool, we're mm. going to get started. So just do it, just go for it, get the guys in. <laughs>